Hello, Eric from Buffalo, New York, and today I'm going to show you uh, the power of a Frezza versus other rapid acting insulins, and you're going to see how much faster a Frezza works. Now, I refer to a Frezza as the glucagon for high blood sugars. Um, I believe that diabetics have two issues low blood sugars and high blood sugars. When you're low, you have many different options to choose from juice, glucose tablets, regular pop, different things that can, you know, get your blood sugar back to where you want it to be, hopefully within 10 to 20 minutes. My issue is when my blood sugar was high, I would look at my CGM and I had one option. Well, pretty much one option. And that was to give myself insulin and wait and wait. Now, every diabetic knows, every medical professional knows, is that having those high blood sugars, you won't see the damage today, tomorrow, next month, maybe even a year from now. But when you're talking 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, that's when those diabetic complications start to show up. So, my blood sugar, I'm gonna do a blood sugar for you right now. Now, do not try this at home, and I am not a medical professional. I got my blood sugar rather high right now, just for this particular video. Okay, 300, or yeah, 335. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is take some of Frezza. And we're gonna set a timer so we can see how long it took for my blood sugar to come down. Now, a Frezza comes in four units, eight units, and 12 units. For a blood sugar of 335, I would need eight units of a Frezza. But because I only take the fours, I am gonna take two four U's. It's so easy, you pop it out, put it into the dream boat, And we're going to start the timer. Now, like I said, I need about eight units of a Frezza, so I could have taken one 8U, but for this case study, I happen to use fours. That easy. With the Frezza, it's super easy. We're going to let the timer start, which it did, and you're going to see the power of a Frezza. Thank you, and stay tuned. All right, I'm back. So, so far it's been 30 minutes since I've taken the fastest insulin of Frezza. Remember, I do have the CGM, but we're gonna look at the blood sugar with a finger stick here. My last blood sugar was a 301 about 13 minutes ago. So I'm down to 288. So we're coming down, we're coming down. Now normally with the Frezza, within the hour, so less than 60 minutes, your blood sugar comes down to where you want it to be. So stay tuned folks, stay tuned. So it's now been 45 minutes from when my blood sugar started off at 335, okay? We're going to do a finger stick here. Now remember, I do have the CGM, but the CGM is five minutes behind. So I wanted you guys to, because uh, you can also change your numbers in your Dexcom if you wanted to. And I wanted this to be as realistic as possible. So we'll do a finger stick because there's no lying with the finger sticks. This is beautiful. 181. Okay, so I went from 335 down to 181 in 45 minutes. That's awesome. All right, I'm back. So, so far it's been one hour since I've taken eight units of a Frezza. Now remember, I took two four units. I could have taken one eight unit. 
for my blood sugar that was originally 335. So it's been an hour. We're going to do a finger stick. Now remember, I am on the CG on the Dexcom. Trust that number 100%, but there is no lying about your finger stick blood sugars. So here we go. I already feel better, I'll tell you that. When I was high, I could almost feel my body going through a negative change. Okay, and that's something really only a, a diabetic could explain. So here we go. Wow. 120, folks. So, I went from a blood sugar of 335 one hour ago, 61 minutes ago, and now I am 120. Now, just a couple things about these numbers that all diabetics and medical professionals should be aware of. When I was on an insulin pump and I was on Humalog insulin, I personally, after being high for an hour and a half or two hours, I would start to chase the high, meaning I'd give myself insulin. I would get very impatient after a few hours. I'd give myself more insulin. So I had a giant roller coaster because what would happen then? I would start stacking my insulin. I became very high and then I come crashing down. So one minute I'm 300, the next minute I'm 40. It was a giant roller coaster, okay? With a Frezza, it's like a little seven year old's roller coaster. Small little hills, okay? Now, another thing. This is own personal experience. I feel very confident that the insulin that I took an hour ago is not completely out of my system, but because of Frezza is quick in, it's also quick out. Meaning I don't have to worry about that insulin of Frezza in my body for four to six hours. Like Humalog, Novolog, Apedra, etc. stay in your system. So I don't have to worry about a low blood sugar an hour now or two hours from now. Because a frezzy gets in, does its job, and gets out. Any diabetic will ask you, any medical professional will ask you, would you rather have a high blood sugar for one hour? Or would you rather have a blood sugar high for two to three to four hours? I personally do not want to be a statistic when I've had diabetes for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years and have a diabetic complication. And oh, by the way, a frezzy is inhalable. So I don't have to worry about giving myself a shot. It was a simple, quick inhale. Show this video to your doctor, your medical professionals, and diabetics. It's your disease. You can lower those blood sugars much faster. Remember, a Frezza is the glucagon for high blood sugar. This is Eric Fnar from Buffalo, New York. Thank you very much. Hi, Eric Fennar once again from Buffalo, New York. This is day two. Yesterday we did a Frezza and I was uh, 335 of a blood sugar. I took eight units of a Frezza and that brought me down um, in under, I think it was like 58 minutes, right back to 119. But you'll see it on the other video. So today we're going to try Novolog. Disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional and I have nothing against these companies except as a diabetic we need faster insulin and these injectable insulins are just much too slow so let's see what my blood sugar is at I should be right around 300 right now so today's video and yesterday's video will show um, the variables would be the same I do have the Dexcom which I love we're going to do the finger sticks today just so um, it's just a little bit more real time. Okay, wow. 349. And as any diabetic will tell you, when you're above 300, you feel horrible. Okay? Now, let me ask you this as a medical professional or as a diabetic, would you rather wait two to three hours for this blood sugar to come down? Or would you rather wait under an hour? So I'm going to give myself five units. We're going to start the timer. And folks, the biggest thing here is, is we're comparing insulins. Afrezza's insulin, Novolog, Apija, Humalog is insulin. 
but the big thing that we really want to get down in this video is to show you as a diabetic, as a medical professional working with diabetics, you want to get that blood sugar down as quickly as possible because when your blood sugar is high, it is doing long-term damage. Stay tuned. Alright, so it's been 30 minutes since I took 5 units of Novolog and my blood sugar was 349. Um, that was at 1144. And then just as a backup, I took another blood sugar uh, 8 minutes later and I was 300. So, there, so there's some variables uh, with the blood sugars. Okay? But it's been 30 minutes. So let's see where my blood sugar is at now. So it's 342. So it's gone down a little bit. Like I said, when we started this off, it was at 349. Yeah. All right, so it's now been an hour and a half since I took Novolog, which is like Humalog and Apidra. Not as fast as a Fresa, but let's do another blood sugar here. Remember yesterday at this time, my blood sugar was right back down to normal, the low 100s, and I was about my day. Okay, so I haven't really budged much. So right now I am 254. And this is an hour and a half. Remember, my blood sugar started at 300. I am on the Dexcom. Okay, but we want some real-time information. So that's why I'm doing the finger sticks instead. Um, my Dexcom does say that I am currently 240 with a down arrow. So I'm definitely going down. But I'm not going down as quickly as I should. We'll do another check-in at the at two hours. All right, it's now been two hours. Since we started this experiment, and um, I took Novolog, which is very similar to a Pedra and Humalog, but it's not as great as a Fresa because remember yesterday a Fresa got my blood sugar down in less than 60 minutes. So this is double the time. 30 minutes ago we did a blood sugar and it was 254. So we're going to do another blood sugar. And yes, I am on the Dexcom, but we're going to do the finger sticks here so we get a little bit up to date time frame here. Okay, so now I am 222. So I am starting to go lower because last time 30 minutes ago I was 254. But this is much too long to wait. Once your blood sugar gets over 140, and most diabetics don't realize this, that's when little things start to happen to your body that cause those long-term complications. Okay? Now here's what happens to most diabetics, and most diabetics can relate to this. After an hour and a half, two hours, maybe two and a half, you start to give yourself more insulin because you get impatient you start chasing the high. I've been through that. And then what happens is you get this giant blood sugar, you chase the high, and boom! One, you know, two hours ago you're 300, now you're 40 because you chased the high. 
we will do one last update most likely at two and a half hours okay you as a diabetic you as a medical professional should realize that diabetics need a faster insulin and this is why we're doing this video today So two and a half hours ago, I had a blood sugar of 300 plus, and I took five units of Novolog. So we're going to see where we're at now, okay? And I've been testing my blood sugar almost every 15 minutes, um, not just on the 30 minute increments, just to track where it's going. And I also do have the Dexcom, and I've been watching my blood sugar on there. But I wanted to do finger sticks for the video just so you guys could see how slow injectable insulin truly is. Okay. So I am now 199. Okay. Much better than being 300 plus. But it's been two and a half hours. So yesterday when I did the Afreza video, less than 60 minutes. My blood sugar went from higher than 300 down to the low 100s. And I just finally got under 200. Okay, this is unacceptable for anybody that's uh, diabetic, type 1 or type 2. Anybody working with uh, diabetics and a medical professional. That's why I refer to a Fresa as a glucagon for high blood sugars. Because at some point throughout the day, when you look at your CGM, or you do a finger stick to check your blood sugar, you're going to ask yourself, wouldn't life be so much better if I did have a faster insulin? You know, a lot of things that I just wanted to touch upon before we end this video is some people's problems with the Frezza relate to the lungs. I've been on a Frezza now for 26 plus months, and I'm first-hand experience in telling you that a Frezza has not affected anything in my lungs. The only side effect, people always ask me, what's the side effects? Better blood sugars. What's the side effect? Better blood sugars. Um, and then number one, another reason is diabetics will chase the high. You know, it's been two and a half hours and I'm still not happy with a blood sugar of 199. So I may give myself more insulin. But injectable insulin stay in your system for four to six hours. I'm not here to maybe talk badly about the injectable insulins, even though it sounds like I am. But my problem is that they're just much too slow. Um, diabetics don't want to see their numbers. When they're high, it does take a, it, not only does it does long-term physical damage, but short-term, it kind of makes the diabetic sad or depressed or have very mixed feelings about the disease. With a Fresa, the glucagon for high blood sugars, any high blood sugar you can correct within the hour. Any meals that you eat that tend to rise your blood sugar rather quickly, that would be another great opportunity to incorporate a Frezza. I believe a Frezza should be every, every diabetic's toolbox that uses a mealtime insulin. Um, we are going to cut the video now. It's been two and a half hours, and I don't know about you, but I'm tired of sitting here waiting for my blood sugar to come down. I tell people that diabetics have two issues, low blood sugars and high blood sugars. When you're low, you have many different options to choose from to raise that blood sugar. And normally within 10 to 20 minutes, you're, you're back up to where you want to be. But when your blood sugar is high, above 200, above 300, you have one option. And that is to wait. Maybe drink some water. Maybe test for ketones. As you drink water, you're going to pee. And you're, gonna, you're, just, you're not going to feel healthy. Okay? You should no longer have to wait for your high blood sugars. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, I'm very open on social media. You can write comments below on the YouTube channel. And um, the point of my story here is, is that diabetics should not have to wait for their high blood sugars to come down. Thank you very much. And now may I trust.